The next part in this step is to turn pocket right sides out and press. To complete this step, on inside, pin inside pocket to upper edge of bag lining between large dots, based. I have now turned my inside pocket right side out. Use your corner turner if you need to, to poke those corners out. You want to make sure that the corners of your inside pocket are nice and square. It's going to give everything a clean and finished look. So now that I've used my turner, you can see that there are points at both sides. I'm going to take this pocket and attach it to the inside part of the lining. This is the inside part of the lining. The pocket is going to be centered with the raw edges even. We are going to be doing a basting stitch on the top here because this seam will be encompassed into the next seam so we will not see it. Go ahead and center your pocket on the inside of your bag. Right sides are together and pin along the top. You want to make sure that your pocket is centered within your bag and that the raw edges are even on the top. It should look like this and then we will go ahead and base it at our machine. You are going to be stitching the inside pocket to the inside of the lining, basting it. To baste it, you're going to change your stitch length to four. We want to make sure that this is four when we're basting so it's nice long stitches. So we're going to go over to our sewing. I'm going to have you do an lined up with the raw edge. You do not need to back stitch this. I know we are sewing two things together but a basting stitch is meant to be taken out. So we're just going to start our stitch, keeping it nice and even. all the way down again we do not back stitch because it is a basting stitch sew to the end and your final product on this stitch should look like this 